Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brenda or also known as Cozyaholic and today's video is a video that you guys have been waiting for for a very, very long time and it's finally here and that is my kitchen reveal and I have never been more in love with my kitchen than I am now and I'm so excited to share with you guys what it looks like. Obviously, you can kind of see the background right now and it just looks beautiful i'm so excited to be able to decorate this space because i just haven't been able to before and also having the piece of the island that was my height gone is such a game changer i can finally see out into the living room which is great if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into this tour All right, so the first thing that I want to cover is obviously the whole remodel and I'm sure you guys are going to have questions on the paint colors, the backsplash, the countertops and all that. So I'm going to be telling you guys all that information in this video. So first off with the backsplash, we actually went with the color flash white. I bought it at Arizona Tile and I will try and leave a link down below if they do have it on their website, but it's a beautiful hand baked handcrafted tile and it just has different tones as you guys can tell you might not be able to tell on camera but there's like some grayish off tones um it's just like a bunch of different um it's like an off-white with a white and i just love the mix of different colors that way like if you want to decorate with all grays it'll go well if you want to decorate with earthy tones it'll go well pretty much with any color because it has different variations and I just love it so much and I think anybody that would come in here would love it as well. It's obviously a subway tile and it's just beautiful. I love it. I love the groove that it has. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it is mine and I love it. It just makes it a lot more earthy than just like the perfect subway tile. So that is the one that we caught. And then for the countertops, we got quartz counters and I believe it's called Vincenza. I will leave a link to that down below for you guys. That way you guys can check that out as well. We went with a local company here in Marietta slash Temecula, but you might be able to also get it in your area as well if you let them know what the name is. And apparently to the guy that quoted us on the counters, he actually said that this specific counter is not very popular, but he has been getting tons of recent orders for it. So I think it's starting to turn like more popular than like your, you know, regular marble design. I was like really debating if I want to do marble or this one because marble is also super beautiful um, or at least a design like a quartz marble if that makes sense. But honestly like I just love the very very subtle marbly effect that this one has and that's kind of what I was going for with the whole epoxy thing. Obviously that didn't work out but um, it kind of accomplished what I was looking for. And then for the paint so these cabinets behind me all these around the like L shape of the kitchen those are all sculptor clay by Bay and then the island is actually a different color you can't really tell it almost looks the exact same but this one I believe is like Pusha I think it's called Pusha Brown also by Bear obviously I got like the cabinet and trim paint and yeah that's pretty much like the color of it and then i know you guys are going to ask about all the little handles and like all the hardware this actually is the exact same hardware that the house already had i just spray painted it gold and then i went in with a clear coat and that's pretty much i called it a day i didn't want to spend more money on hardware when these were perfectly fine so i just gave them a little spray paint and they look pretty much like if they were brand new or if you bought actual bronze hardware and what's funny is the handles on the drawers are actually coming back in style and it just kind of makes it a little easier for everyone you don't have to go and start remodeling and ripping things out especially if you already have a house that has these pieces so yeah i'm actually very happy and i tried so hard to remove the hardware from the drawers but i think the previous owners glued them on so i could not take them off at all i tried to pry them off with the freaking screwdriver nothing worked so i just had to like kind of cover it with tape and try to spray paint it like that so there's a little bit of bleed here and there but other than that it's not too bad it looks pretty good and that works for me so and i know a lot of you guys are also going to be like why did you put new counters if you didn't put in new cabinetry and it just would have been way out of our budget unfortunately the cabinets work perfectly fine they're not broken or anything this house was built i believe in 2001 or actually no i think 2005 so it's not super old obviously it's like a 20 year old house but or almost 20 year old house but i mean the cabinets work fine they just needed a repaint um and the insides are actually kind of dirty i don't know what the last homeowners did like they're so 
dirty so i might end up taking out all the shelving from inside the cabinets and giving them a paint oh like a makeover with paint um just to cover up all of that staining i don't know what they did but for now i'm gonna start lining it with that rubber liner thing just to kind of cover it up and not see it um, but yeah, so anyways, that is pretty much all the details for the remodel and then I will go into some other small details within the video, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So the first area that we're going to go into is this section right here and this is the area right next to the fridge as you can tell. So right on the side of the fridge, I actually have all of my ultrasound pictures from my two babies. So if I ever find any like thrown in the drawer or something like that, I'll just go ahead and put them up here. But that's what I have there. And then right on this corner over here, I have the really cute wooden trevet that I mentioned in my decor haul video. And if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below in the description box for you guys. But anyways, on this little trevet, I have, um, is it trevet or trevet? I don't know, I'm gonna go with Trevay. That sounds really fancy. Um, but anyways, on top of that, I have this really cute candle from Sand and Fog that I got at Home Goods, and then a cute little mortar and pestle, which I think is adorable. And then right behind it, I have just this little cute little concrete faux plant that I got from Target. I think it was like maybe like five or six dollars. So that's what I have in that corner right there. And now moving along to this side right here, I have this beautiful vase that I also found at Home Goods and um, I just have tons of wooden spoons in it that I've been collecting. One of them's actually broken, which is pretty funny, but it still looks cute, it looks kind of distressed. But I just, I've been collecting spoons and just putting them in there. Just to give you an idea, this really big one right here, this one is from Hobby Lobby. The back two are from Home Goods. These two are also from Home Goods. And then this guy right here is actually from Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, my family's from there. And when I visit, they always make, my grandma always makes the most amazing hot chocolate from scratch and Oaxacan chocolate is so good. Just Mexico chocolate in general is amazing. Um, and they always use this little guy right here to foam up the chocolate. So that's kind of one of my little culture additions to this little section. I love it so much, it's beautiful. It just reminds me of home. Obviously I wasn't born in Mexico, but um, I do love it. And I wish I lived there to be quite honest, I really did. I miss it so much and I can't wait to go back, hopefully soon, but Anyways, that is what I have in this base right here. And then right down below it, I have my salt and pepper shakers. Those I got from Target. They're super, super cute. I think they were like $20. And then right behind it, I just have the oil dispenser thingy. So now moving on to the stove. So the stove is LG. And this one I think we actually purchased um, from like a wholesaler. As you guys know, like we're not, you know, we don't have tons of money, but we obviously want to make sure that our house looks pretty and presentable and obviously livable. And the stove that used to be here was not it. So we bought one kind of, I guess essentially it's like secondhand, super affordable and it works perfectly fine. It is a high-end stove that we got for like probably over half the price. So we purchased this guy, absolutely love it. Um, and it just has like this middle gr griddle thing here. A lot of people ask me about this. Um, if your stove doesn't come with it, you actually can buy one on Amazon. I will link that for you guys down below. There's tons of things that you can do with this guy. So helpful. And then other than that, um, I just have my little kettle that I got from Home Goods, and that's pretty much it for here. All right, so one of my most anticipated decorating pieces that I really wanted to put in this kitchen were these two boards right here. I have this weird obsession with cutting boards, and I just love how this looks. It's just like, it's just so earthy, and I don't know. It's just like, it's a trend right now, and I love the way it looks. I will be having a video soon on how to distress these guys because I'm gonna make them look more vintage. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that video. But anyways, for now, I just have them here. I just stacked two of them. I actually have more. If you guys watch the haul video, you guys know how many I have. These are probably my most favorite pieces out of everything in this kitchen. And that's pretty much all I have here. Okay, we're getting up close and personal here. But anyway, so back in this corner right here, I just have Tons of books. A lot of them are actually just decor books. So I have the LA book for my decor haul. I have two just like decorating books that I found at the thrift store, the Magnolia table book. And then this one I also found at the thrift store. This is actually one of my favorite ones. 
It's the Folk Remedy Encyclopedia, and this one's basically just like a bunch of home remedies that you can do. And they're super healthy and nothing to do with medications, just things that you can do at home that help the body and that have been proven to work. So there's tons of home remedies in here, like this one, Fend Off Falls to Protect Memories. So there's like, you know, like stuff that you can do to protect your memories and, and prevent Alzheimer's and stuff like that. Weaken immune system, inflammatory bowel disease, like just a bunch of stuff that I think is so important. I'm so happy I found this guy at the thrift store. It was probably like $3. I will see if I can link it down below. I'm sure some place sells it. So anyways, love this guy. It's so pretty, very, very cottagey as well, which I love. So I have that. And then this cute little book holder is from um, Home Goods. And then right behind it, I have this binder right here. And in this binder, I just have tons of HelloFresh recipes. So I didn't know where to put them, so I thought a binder would be perfect. And basically, I just have like tons of recipes in here. And then right next to it, obviously, I just have our Noshi Bullet. This one's actually brand new. We just got it the other day. And the reason why is because my other blender, which we've always bought like $25 blenders from Target. It finally broke after like four years of using it. I have no clue what happened to it. It like just got a slit right down the, the cup. And then I lost the lid for some reason. So we bought a new one and I think it's totally worth it. It's actually done so well for us already. So I'm excited to see like what I can do with this blender. There's like a whole recipe book, so. All right, and then over on this corner right here, I just have this beautiful little slim dough bowl that I also found at Home Goods. And in here, I just have some lemons. I think that's like the perfect touch of color for spring. You could actually even do a bigger dough bowl. Um, I do have another one. I just thought it was a little bit too much because I just don't have enough produce to put out here. But yeah, I just thought this was super cute and I love this idea. All right, and last but not least, I have my little coffee section here. Still haven't gotten a chance to decorate it. I do want to put it like a tiered tray here or something similar. So for now, I just have my Keurig and then a little mug just to kind of make it feel like, you know, like you're always having a cup of coffee ready to go. And then right next to it, I have this really, really pretty vase that I actually just found at Target yesterday. And it's super cute. I love the little handles on it. It's just like, I don't know. It's really cute. It looks almost vintage. I think this is like $25. And then I just have some eucalyptus branches in there that I found at Ikea. Okay, and now that we have that covered, next up is the sink, of course. So for this, we kept the same sink that we had. This is stainless steel. It's a Kohler sink. And this one actually came with the house um, when we purchased it from our previous owner. And yeah, so this is just works perfectly for me. And then this faucet right here is from Glacier Bay. I think it's only like $120. It's done perfect for us. Um, I love it, it's super affordable. Maybe at some point I might try and switch it out for a more vintage faucet, like the ones that have like little curved arms. That would look so cute, but for now this works perfectly fine. And last but not least, this corner right here is probably my favorite as well. This space I found at a local vintage shop. And then obviously one of my other cutting boards that I have down here, which I love, I also found it at Home Goods. And then I just love these spring branches. These you can find at Hobby Lobby super cute they actually also have some other different variations that have like little flowers blooming out of it so if that's something that interests you definitely go ahead and check out hobby lobby they have tons of those and they're super super cute you guys can you imagine having like fall foliage right oh my god <gasps> You guys know I love fall. I'm already so excited for it. Like it needs to come quicker. You guys know that I decorate in August for fall. It's almost here. We're in April, May, June, July. Oh my God, there's four months, there's four months. As you guys can see, this is kind of like the full overview of the kitchen from this side. I'm not gonna show you from that angle because there's a really, really big mess in the living room right now, as well as my dining area. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much it for the kitchen. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I can't wait to decorate it. Um, and then also along with this video, I actually wanted to mention one company that has also been very, very kind to send over some new pots and pans for the new kitchen, and that is Caraway. So we're actually gonna be cooking with Caraway today. I'm really excited to use their pots and pans. I've heard so many amazing things about them. They're nonstick, they're eco-friendly, and just tons of other things. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and test them out because of course, like new kitchen, new pots and pans. I mean, what else could be better than that? So let me go ahead and go get the box and we'll open that baby up. 
All righty, we have our caraway. <laughs> This is really big and I'm really short. I actually already opened this. Before we remodeled the kitchen, I opened it and I looked at it and I was so excited to use it, but then the whole remodel happened and I just had it stuffed away in a room and finally I'm able to actually take them out. They are beautiful and I can't wait to actually use them right now. I am starving. So we're gonna make some chorizo and egg, if you guys know what that is. It's pretty much like the pork, I don't even know what it's like, pork, thing that's like all mushed up. It, it's a Mexican thing. I don't know if you like other people use it, but it's called chorizo. And um, I'm just gonna make that and some tortillas. Oh my goodness. You guys, look at how pretty this is. It's in a cream color and it matches everything in this kitchen. I love things to match. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Wow, this is beautiful. And I love the stainless steel on this because it matches my appliances. But by the way, they actually just released a gold one. So definitely check that one out. If I had the opportunity to get that one, I totally would have gone with it. But I, I got this package a while back. Um, and I love that they were so patient with me because I didn't expect to have a cool kitchen remodel, but um, they actually just released a gold one like maybe like a week or two ago. It's beautiful. So definitely check that one out. I think it's it's the most prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen any pots or pans that cute. So anyways, um, I got this guy right here and I will set them aside. And let's see what else we got. Ooh, okay. We got a Dutch oven. Look at this baby. Ah, this is so pretty. Next up, we have a saucepan. This one's so pretty as well. I wish I could show you guys, but this is like super high up. And then we have a fry pan. Good old fry pan. We're gonna be using this one for our chorizo for sure. And then what's really cool about this is that it actually comes with these because as you guys know, quartz isn't, you know, obviously it's brand new. You typically never want to put anything hot on it, um, especially because it can stain and turn it yellow. Um, so this guy right here is definitely something that I need. Um, they're just little heat pads for your pots and pans. And then it comes with a little pamphlet here, kind of giving you measurements, how to store your pans. It's just a little care kit to make sure that you care for your pots and pans and make sure that you extend the lifetime of them. So we got this guy right here. And then also what I think is so freaking cool is that it comes with a whole organizer. So you don't just throw them in your cabinets and call it a day. You can actually organize them, make them look super cute. I mean, you wanna make sure that your pots and pans that are cute look cute and style cute in your kitchen. So you can honestly even put them outside if you really, really want to and just have them like organized out there. Maybe I might do that because I think that might look really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and I'm gonna organize them in my, um, in my cabinet right now. It's like the one right next to the stove and we're gonna see how it turns out. Alrighty, so now that I have all the pots and pans in my cabinet, I'm gonna go ahead and start making food because we are starving. It is, whew, it is 12.07 and we still haven't eaten anything. The kids did eat, but we haven't. So I am starving. We're having breakfast at noon, so technically it's like a brunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make food right now and it's actually Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to anybody. Happy late Easter, because this video is going up on Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely stick around to see how the pots and pans work if you guys are interested in purchasing them. And then I will also leave my code down below in the description box as well as a link for you guys to purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.